Hi guys, Barnaby for Spurred On. Uh, it's the end of the game. We're out of the, uh, out of the Capital One Cup that it is now. Uh, lost 2-1 to Woolwich Arsenal. Obviously, it's depressing. Um, talked to a lot of fans. Uh, there's a big feeling around the ground that we made a mistake. Pochettino made a mistake not playing his full team. Obviously, he's resting players. We got an early game Saturday against Manchester City. That is a big game. But what I would say is, are we likely to win against City? What's our record like against City recently? We tend to lose it anyway with our best team. So why don't we play our best team against our Arsenal tonight? Try and get a win. You know, try our best to get a win. Don't come away feeling like we could have done better with a better team out. Maybe get a win. Get the confidence and the momentum from a victory against our fiercest rivals at home on a Wednesday night. Send us all going back to work happy. And then you deal with Saturday on Saturday. You find out on Saturday morning or Friday afternoon, Pochettino, whether, you know, who's injured, who's fit, who's up for it, who's still got the strength and the fitness to deal with it. You're supposedly well known for, for getting the players running over hot coals, for getting them the fittest team in the league. So why can't we deal with a Wednesday and a Saturday? You know, you play players like Vorm and Fazio in a game like this, you're asking for it in a way. And, I, and, and, you know, the fans have said it in the interviews, and I agree. Fazio, you know, let's look at it from his point of view. I know this is hard, but he was basically told to go to West Bromwich Albion. He didn't go, and then he's asked to come in for his first game of the season. He's not even been on the bench most of the time. He's asked to come in for the first game of the season against Arsenal, the biggest game of our season, play centre-back, play against Giroud, who plays most weeks, and do a good job. In a way, from his point of view, is it a surprise that he can't pass the ball 10 yards? He's not playing football, and certainly not football at the most competitive edge that it can be. Pressure's on him, 36,000 fans, all on his back. He played a pass in the last five minutes of the game, 15 yards straight to one of their players. The fans just started booing. Now, I'm not slagging off the fans, because I, you know, I felt the same way. But, you know, if you throw him in in a game like that, it's almost to be expected. Vorm, you know, he made a mistake. He made a mistake against Leicester last year in the FA Cup because he wasn't playing games. That's what happens. You throw one in. You know, you're a keeper. You need games. So I think I love Pochettino, you know. So I'm not saying anything like, you know, a fickle fan, like get him out, whatever. I'm saying sometimes think about it. Like it was last year. We had that week, Thursday night, Fiorentina away, second leg. Sunday, Sunday, Sunday in the uh, Europa League. Uh, sorry, Sunday in the uh, Capital One Cup final against Chelsea. He played half a team, half a strong team against Fiorentina. We lost, Soldado missed that chance. And then he played full team and we lost anyway. So why don't we just play the full team and then see what happens? So it's frustrating. I thought some of the players who came in uh, who, who don't usually get a chance did okay. I thought Trippier looked okay. Uh, Danny Rose, I think, is better than Ben Davis. I like Ben Davis as a squad player, but I think Danny Rose showed today everything that was good from us came down the left. Danny Rose making those surging runs, freeing up some space for Christian Eriksen ahead of him. So play him on Saturday against City, I think, Danny Rose. I think he gives you more. I really do. Um, Tommy Carroll, I felt for a little bit. Uh, he's obviously a good ball player, but sometimes... There are just times where in a midfield, in a game like that, you're not going to win headers and you're going to lose the ball in dangerous areas because of it. He's just too small. Sad to say, he's just too small. Even if you think of Xabi and Iniesta, tiny players for Barcelona, stocky, stocky players. Tom Carroll, great ball player, but he looks like he's in the under 10, so I felt for him a little bit. Eriksen, obviously, still getting back up to full fitness. And then, you know, I think we've all agreed we should have played Son and Ali, a bit more energy. Chadley's not having a great season. And Harry Kane, I'll tell you what, End on a positive. Harry Kane, that scissor kick just shows he doesn't hide. He doesn't hide. Any other player on a run like this where he's getting stick from fans, stick from the, the press, he wouldn't have tried something like that. And that was terrific technique. His goals will come. Don't you worry about that. He does the hard work. He holds it up. He whacked his head against the advertising board at one point. What a brave player. What a great player for Spurs. You know, from the far on days of Soldado and Emmanuel Adebayor, it's just a pleasure to have him up front. So, yeah. To conclude, gutting, obviously. We lost to them. Hard to go into work tomorrow and talk to people who support them. But maybe we can get a bit of a rest up on those Carlin Cup nights now, or sorry, Capital One Cup nights, and really play for a league position. Saturday, Man City at home. Let's go for it. Full team, early start. Let's properly go for it. Anyway, guys, let us know what you think of my, my review uh, in the comments section below. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel and follow us on Twitter, at TV. Come on, you Spurs.